This first video is going to show you how to set up and um, put some data into an array. Now I've just opened Visual Studio, it's just been a bit slow at the moment. I've created myself a new project called Arrays1 and I've saved it into the programming folder in computer. I'm just waiting for it to build that project. Whilst that's happening, we're going to create an array which stores the items that we might hold in our inventory in a computer game. So let's say it's a role-playing game where you're wandering around, you're picking up items and you've got to keep them with you. So we're going to have something called an array called items um, that can store up to five different objects that we pick up as we make our way around a computer game. So first things first, we've got to make the array. Um, and what we've got to do is we've got to do this. We've got to create it, dim, and I'm going to call my array items, and I'm going to instead. Um, it's similar to creating a variable, but in, the only difference is that we put brackets after that, and I'm going to put a five in those brackets because there are going to be five items in my array. So with a variable, you wouldn't do that, but with an array, you do. When you declare it, when you create it, you say how many items are going to how many items of data are going to be in your array. So dim items as and it's going to create it's going to contain some text so string. There we go. So that's my array created. And now what I need to do is fill it in. I need to put some data into it. So what I do is I do this. Items hang on. Items bracket 0. That's the first position in the array equals and what's going to go in my first? I'm going to have a sword. There we go. Uh, it's going to be in speech marks because, excuse me a sec, hitting the wrong buttons on the keyboard. There we go. So I'm going to have a sword in the first sec. The next slot I'm going to have. Um, a dagger. Classic old fashioned role playing game here. Items 2. Please notice that we started at 0 as well. We started counting at 0. Items 2 equals cloak of invisibility. And so on and so on. So we can fill those in. Um, and to get our program to output any one of those items, all we have to do is we have to say console dot right line brackets and then items and this isn't in speech marks because it's not fixed text items. So let's say I wanted to output the word dagger items one. So it will output whatever's at position one in that array, and at that moment that's dagger. Now at the moment I'll just put console dot read at the end just to make it wait for me at the end let's see if that works so I should create basically all you should see in my console is just the word dagger because this creates the array this happens behind the scenes and this is the line that actually makes the array work don't forget when you're doing this to add your comments as well build started here we go There we go, we've got the word dagger, so it's printed out the right one from the array. Play around with adding extra items, up to five to your array. So you remember you'll count up to four there, zero, one, two, three, four is five items. And play around with printing out different positions, different index positions from the array, so you should get different items printed out to the screen. Once you've done that, move on to the next um, video where we'll learn how to print out every item in array by using a loop.